Oh, we have a big one for the collective. Let's see. Does the collective need to know? I feel like this wants to come out. Five of Wands. There's some kind of a fight, competition. Maybe someone's competing with you. A Two of Cups situation. Or. Someone's competing over a two of cups or someone's always competing with you because you feel like you're a twin flame energy. You always feel this tension around you. It's like waiting for this tension to go away maybe. Or there's a separation here. There's always this fight or this competing, this challenge, rivalry, a rivalry over a partnership. Queen of Coins in the subconscious. So there's a someone's working, trying to work against you. Um, Eight of Cups. Someone didn't walk away, or someone doesn't want someone to walk away. So there's people who are not getting along. Someone. Five of Swords reverse judgment. There's some resentment because judgment is here, but they know they have to deal with it. Uh, a decision has to be made and it's like an awakening um, someone needs to awaken or someone there's a fight over this next steps eight of swords someone is in a self-imposed prison that they can get out of or they see that they put themselves in something that they and can take take their own blindfold off, untie their own hands, and get out of it. The world reverse, uh, or it's feeling ultra trapped. The world reverse. Someone doesn't want a cycle to end. There's an empress reverse in the environment. Someone doesn't want someone to walk away. Someone's there's no passion here though. It's something about a Six of Cups, someone from the past. I feel like someone could be trying to paint a bad picture. This thing is an unfair power balance. There's something going on where someone's trying to use their power, maybe. The Tower Reverse. Someone's trying to stop a tower in the outcome. The Hanged Man. So someone's stuck, or someone's trying to make someone... Someone's trying to stick someone in this situation. Five of Wands. There's an argument. Someone's trying to compete with someone, or someone's all about a rivalry. Having to deal with some soulmate connection, or splitting, splitting up a soulmate connection. Five of Wands. Someone's fighting just to create tension. Someone's, someone's creating an energy of competition. Someone's putting you into a competition while you're trying to heal. It's like an energy, maybe it's an energy. Someone's like trying to make you feel, there's a ser serenity. Page of Wands reverse, bad news for someone. There's some news that someone doesn't like around a Two of Cups. They might feel like they've lost control of something, so they're like fighting to stop healing. They don't like peace. Queen of Coins in the re um, in the subconscious. This person, yeah, Five of Swords. This is the person who wants to win at all costs. This, is the, this person. Wants to win at all costs. So, eight of Cups reverse is clarifying. Eight of Cups reverse. So someone definitely doesn't doesn't want someone to walk away. There could be something that someone's hiding, or someone's taken a big loss, or they'll take a big loss if if someone walks away, or someone feels like there's a missed chance if someone walks away. Ten of Cups. Someone judgment is here. There's something about having to let go of this fight. Of wanting to win at all costs and if someone wants to be happy they're gonna have to let go of this battle and 
just ascend or evolve. It's a wake. It's a wake up call. How someone's spending their time. But someone feels stuck though. Something to do with a hierophant, tradition, religion, marriage. Someone's seeing themselves in a different way, or someone feels trapped because of it, but they know that they, they got themselves into a situation. The world reverse. Someone doesn't want someone to walk away, and someone someone doesn't want the cycle to be over. Yeah, someone's feeling like Ten of Swords. They feel really bottomed out and betrayed. This could be a very um, dramatic situation here. Five of Wands and Ten of Swords. Just someone, you know, this could be yelling or crying. You know, someone really like throwing themselves on the ground and things like that. They could be experiencing genuine pain. So I'm not trying to mock, mock that. You know, I'm not trying to mock that by the way that I'm describing it. But that's just the vibe that I get. Um, something to do with tower, reverse, someone's trying to stop this tower. Um, freedom to choose, choose self-created boundaries. Someone doesn't like the limitations that's being put on them. Something having to do with the long-term commitment. This empress, this person appears to be an empress in the reverse in the um, environment position. Wow. And there's a King of Wands reverse here. There could be more than one person involved. Somebody is very austere, ruthless, opinionated. There could be an Empress reverse and a King of Wands reverse fighting one another in regards to news about a Two of Cups. Or they could be fighting over, you know, this could be you and your person from the past. If you feel you have some sort of like soulmate connection with this person. There's like someone feels like they're losing control over this connection. Um, Queen of Wands. Someone's afraid of. They don't. They, someone wants to have power over you. They don't want to lose their position. And the Tower Reverse, Hanged Man Reverse. So, in order for someone to avoid a tower, they just have to sort of like be in a compromised position. Uh, they're martyring themselves somehow for no reason. It's very, it's a frustrated feeling. It's someone's not giving themselves up or it's just like this continual tower. Something's about to erupt feeling and it's, they're a hanged man here and it's like they're stuck, but they're just going to end up. It's yeah, they're stuck, but they're going to end up more stuck in, in a more, more ridiculous way with the more dramas like always almost happening or this feeling like everything's going to come crashing down um eight of swords this is a feeling stuck here and also um nine of swords that someone's trying to they want to just get out of a nightmare this could be like instead of facing the facts someone's trying to change reality or to, to fit Someone wants to change reality to fit the way that they're feeling so they don't have to experience a loss. That's, that's what I think. Someone's fighting peace. Someone's, someone's fighting healing. Um, someone wants, um, there's some sort of tranquil energy, but someone's like trying to disrupt it or something. Bad health. Child. I mean, if it's not about an actual child, this could have to do, yeah, like the mental health of someone who's innocent. There's some sort of healing here. Someone's trying to heal and someone's causing a fight. This could be someone in the home who's not doing well and someone's like creating a lot of tension. Um, there could be a child in, in the house or in the room and, and someone is also in bad health, trying to heal, heal the child, heal themselves. And there's like this battle going back and forth in, inside a home. Or someone could be trying to heal from an innocent energy, heal from something that happened. And someone's trying to 
create a fight. Um, Two of Cups has to do with someone's honor. Bad news, losing control, having to do with someone's honor. Two of Cups situation. I really feel like there's someone here who doesn't want a divine feminine to be with this person because they want to be the one who has the title or they look at it like they look at like a person or they look at like a couple as as a status a mark of status like it's like a stamp of approval and so if this is your twin or your soulmate they want to be with your soulmate because they feel like that is it has to do with their honor and how they they come across. So they want to hold on to the situation for how it appears. And they also want to be above you. They want to have something over you. Six of coins reverse. Um, Queen of wands, an unfair power balance. They want to be able to hold something over your head so that they, they've got something over you. Because they, because they five of swords, they want to win when at all costs, this person. Um, there's a main male here connected to this situation. I don't know who that is. In the subconscious that wants to maybe is helping this person. Someone, something to do with someone's occupation. There was some sort of like a loss. Someone didn't want someone to walk away maybe because of their occupation. Um, or someone didn't walk away because of their occupation. Judgment is here and Coffin is clarifying that there's some sort of an ending that someone has to face. They have to stop bullying the situation or trying to win at all costs if they want to be happy. And something about Hierophant, marriage. This has to do with someone, um, they can get out of what something if they want to. They're just, I don't know, they're realizing something about it. Great fortune, someone... Someone feels like they're losing a fortune as well, but they're trying to stop a tower. A new perspective on self-created boundaries in regards to this marriage is coming up for, or high level commitment for someone, official person. People are being, these two, two are being seen as like a very dysfunctional couple. Um, that's how they're coming across. Um, yeah. Queen of Wands. Message of concern. Something about a power balance. This bad news here. Someone's afraid of you finding out something because it could give you a leg up or make you feel happy or good. Um, something about like you getting, you also you receiving something, a message where you receive something that um, will help you somehow. It's something about a message too where someone might have tried to block something that was on the way to you and they don't want you to get it. Privileged lady. Someone's trying to stop a tower because they don't want someone to do well. Imprisonment. Someone's really trapped in a situation. We have hanged man, imprisonment, nine of swords reverse. Someone feeling really trapped and stuck and wanting to get out of a nightmare. Those are the three cards that are under the decks. Someone wants something to end. They feel like judgment is here and they, they're realizing that they've got themselves in a situation. They're even looking at that now. They feel like there's multiple people ganging up on them. There's some sort of bad news about a two of cups and someone's honor. Someone's trying to heal. They could be trying to help a child heal from something as well. But there's someone who just wants to compete and fight and create tension. Tension, this is just, this is not a um, happy home. This is not a happy home at all. It's all about like, it's all about competition and um, taking something. And here's their sort of like suspicious matriarch person. Uh, is also in the mix. There's like multiple people trying to fight someone from healing and moving forward in their life in a healthy way. Um, child reverse. Wow. Ch 
child reverse is clarifying bad health child I mean there really could be a child here that's like not doing well at all someone's trying to heal someone's trying to create a sense of serenity but all this fighting is like not good for the child and someone feels like they lost control someone feels like they lost control in regards to this situation and they've lost their honor as well um potentially fortune what was their fortune they might feel like their honor and some soulmate soulmate connection was a fortune and they lost it they're feeling like Something about a message going back and forth between a main male and a queen of pentacles. Someone wants to win something at all costs, so they might be feeling like someone's working against them, against their better in best interest. A main male and a queen of pentacles. Um, some sort of messages going back and forth in their subconscious. They're feeling like that's going on. Something about someone's occupation. Maybe they, they've been worried about... There's been some so many losses or a big loss. And it might have actually made it harder for them to move away or to heal or to see, get something... Yeah, there was like no help here. Someone won't help or lack of lack of help. Um, so they couldn't, couldn't move or something like that. Coffin. They know something's over. They don't really even want to have a conversation about this anymore. They just want to be happy. They, they're seeing the bigger picture, but let her reverse. Some bill not coming in or not getting the money or not some not getting seeing a document or something like that is leading them to see that this is a self-imposed uh, prison that they put them in. They have free will. They can get out of the situation. It could be some, something that someone doesn't want to show someone or something like that and they just realize that it's it's a psychological trap that they can get themselves out of so they feel like they've lost this great fortune they feel like maybe their honor they've lost their honor and their fortune um which could be also just like luck blessings coming their way because of the situation um they're trying to stop a tower though they, they, they know that, that they they sort of trapped themselves, um, but but there's someone here who doesn't want the cycle to be over. But I feel like it's like the great fortune to be over prison. This has to do with being trapped. I mean, there's so many prison cards here. We have eight of swords, reverse, prison. Hanged one under the deck. Nine of swords reversed. Was trapped in a nightmare. Imprisonment. Eight of swords again. Hanged man again. This is all about being stuck. St stuck, trapped, imprisoned. So if it's not tr stuck, trapped, and imprisoned in, in like... The traditional sense, like someone is literally having to go to jail, then it could just be they're in some sort of like marriage that feels like they're trapped and someone's not well. There could be a child that's really suffering in this situation. This could be someone who's trying to keep a serene environment because of something that happened to a child. But there could be some sort of bad news, though that's like someone lost control some sort of bad news about someone losing control and they're going to lose their honor someone's fighting with someone about a child this child's in bad health because of there's some bad news about a child or someone's trying to heal and there's all this fighting and tension someone feels like they lost control they're losing control, there's bad news, or they lost control, and now a child's unwell. And someone's really feeling like they're in trouble, they're bottomed out. 
death reverse. It feels like these people are trying to save themselves, but they're coming across like... I mean, someone could be in trouble with the law for sure. And there's all these ten this tension between people and someone's trying to, someone doesn't want something to end and it's very apparent, but they, they're coming across as very dysfunctional. There could be someone here, an official person that's like facilitating something to do with this. A high honor in chariot could be someone being taken away High honor could be someone that is like, the bad news is that someone has to take someone away. It includes their fortune, it includes their, their partnership. Uh, service, reverse. Someone does not want a message to get through to this queen of wands and they don't want anyone to help them. That's like someone's big concern is that, you know, that they, they want this power. They want to have something over this divine feminine. Outcome, size, reverse. Someone's trying to get over this melancholy. Yeah, sorrow under the deck. Someone's trying to get out of sorrow. Someone is like in a nightmare. They want to get out of the nightmare. They want to get out of the sorrow. They want to not be imprisoned. They don't, they don't want to be stuck. So it's either someone being stuck in a relationship or someone, someone did something and now... Energy is very, um, the very, the energy is very tense and a lot of anxiety connected to it. Child. Idle reverse. Someone's trying to reverse this feminine energy is being loved, respected, admired. Someone's in competition with a divine feminine who's trying to heal and there could also be a child that's suffering because of it. Or someone's trying to heal a situation with a child, but someone wants to fight about this divine feminine. Or this child is the innocence, you know, that comes with the, like, divine feminine energy. Um, too busy winning reverse, bad news, losing control of a two of cups situation high honor. I do feel like someone's worried that this divine feminine is going to get something. So someone is like, someone's ignoring something that's in their subconscious about a message going back and forth between this queen of pentacles and this main male. They know they need to stop ignoring it though. Um, Something about them taking a loss in business uh, or on their occupation, some sort of a loss, they, they couldn't get away, they just felt like they were drifting, they couldn't get any help, or they feel like they lost their status and they've just been stuck, stuck, just stuck. So this person, conversation, talking shit. Someone wants to talk shit about an ending or some sort of an ending or talk about someone, but then someone doesn't want to talk about it. It's about letting go so that people can be happy. Eight of swords in reverse, marriage, hierophant. This has to do with some sort of a love triangle that someone, someone feels like they got themselves into that they can get themselves out of. There's some lack of evidence of something or lack of money. This fortune, this great fortune is lost, but someone doesn't want that to end. Or someone feels like they're really bottoming out and trying to stop a tower. Someone could be trying to hold in anger. Yeah, fed up. Someone's fed up. They 
someone's fed up with a situation and someone really feels trapped or like they could go to prison or they are going to prison. Someone could have done something really terrible to someone acting cold. This person is coming across, this is in the environment position, like not a good person. Like they do and say things that are very superficial and harmful. And there could be also a king of wands in the reverse here who's very ruthless that's attached to this person. And they're just, it seems like people can see what they've been doing now. And it's, it's all about what they did to you and are still wanting to do. This person's obsessed with like, making sure you aren't loved and admired and they don't want you to get any help. And there's some sort of a message though. They feel like this message though is gonna help you or something. And they feel like they've lost their fortune though. Something about a commitment, a long-term commitment to prison and someone's really fed up. They've lost their fortune. They don't want the cycle to be over. They could be, when I, that's when I was saying like stuff, I could see someone like on the floor crying or, you know, like their body on the floor and stuff like that. That's, that's what I meant when I said, I felt like it was like, it seemed very physically large of a reaction, like a physical reaction um, about someone feeling trapped. They could be feeling trapped because of circumstances, imprisonment, nine of swords, the hanged one, the hanged one, the tower, 10 of swords, Eight of Swords again, Eight of Swords again, stuck. And it's like they can't stop themselves from talking, talking about you or trying to stop you. Um, they want to keep going and they want to, oh my gosh. So they want to stop you from receiving anything and they don't want you to get any help, but they want to be you. They want to take over you or they, they feed off of how you dress or look or your energy or what you say and do your style, what you, what you're into. Um, so it's, it's like a, they don't want you to receive anything. They want to, they want to be you. And that's what I was saying about this two of cups and this fortune. They have a real problem with this two of cups. It's bad news for them. They don't want you to have the honor. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They they want to have the honor because they look at it like it's almost like reducing your life and your whole essence and your being into like an idea or a package of something that can just be tossed around. It's like it's 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 worse than dehumanizing. It's it's something else. It's like you're not real or you don't exist. Like this person can't see that you are actually a human being. It's like you're an idea that can be thrown away, that can be borrowed from, stolen from, destroyed, and then they'll just take what they want. They'll just have what you have, and that's just all there is to it. And this person is having an out, a terrible outburst. They feel trapped because it feels like because judgment is here, but they can't even stop themselves from like talking about it and they they're they're losing their reputation and they're still doing it and people can see it here and something just feels really dysfunctional and there could be a child in the middle of all of this or this innocence is you as it like you have innocent energy um so something about outcome it's like trying to stop a tower but it's like losing money and martyring themselves for no reason creeping a creeping under the deck and we have um bad reputation so yeah someone's like trying to watch someone or something like that and having like a huge outburst it's like everything is falling apart for this person and the very thing that's causing the disruption is what they're doing more of. They need to put some, they feel like they still need to, they can't stand the idea of you being happy or getting any help. And they can't, they're in a nightmare. This person, the, 
the reasonable reaction would be to catch oneself and see that that you know there could be a child being being disturbed in the situation that to tend to the child but all they can think about is like competing with you if this isn't a child it's your it's your innocence they can't stand the idea of you getting this fortune and your honor being restored or that you getting anything or doing well Things have already been slowing down. There's something in their circumstances that's stopping them from... There's something in their circumstances that is stopping them from um, moving forward. It's either like people have, understand now what they've been doing and can see it for what it is and are like just they can't... They're just being seen as very, very dysfunctional. Someone that does and says very mean things and now they're being stopped. Somehow they're being restrained or stopped, but for them, especially the ones that aren't going to jail, because if someone did something illegal or something like stalking or someone could have done something like, I don't know, inside the family or something like that, if it's not actual jail, their reaction to having to stop being abusive is a huge, dramatic painful tantrum they feel they feel they can't stand the idea of being stopped that someone is trying to stop them from hurting you if they feel trapped and like they're in a nightmare because they can't hurt you they feel trapped and in a nightmare because you might receive help or someone might love you or that you will move forward in your life and with work or occupation or your creative endeavors or your business ideas or whatever it is, they, they're, they, this is a dramatic nightmare for them. Very intense, very, very intense. And they, they're still talking about the future. They want to keep talking about you and, but people don't want to talk about it anymore. And people are saying, you have to let this go in order to be happy, you have to let this go. Um, it's so weird because so many of you don't even know this person. You don't even know this person. You know, I mean, someone else got, I feel like with this love triangle, someone else got you into a situation because of some dishonesty. And, and, or, and, or this person had like an eye on whoever you were with or seeing because they were stalking you before you, before you ever knew they even existed. So, um, yeah, they're going to just keep losing money and it just feels like, yeah, they're trapped and having some kind of an outburst, hitting rock bottom, trying to stop the tower and losing their fortune. But they also feel it's like feeding off of you is like not being able to like feed off of you and copy you and try to keep you down is like for them, that's their fortune. And they're having a terrible outburst. For them, this is a nightmare. So it's so, um, you know, when I read the cards, it's like one thing, but when I actually hear it out loud, someone wants to like, they're, for them, they're in a, a like terrible imprisoned nightmare. They feel stuck and like they can't get, do anything because they can't abuse you or they can't try to get in your way anymore. And then also be you and be, do what you do look like how whatever you do to however you get dressed whatever your essence is that's so weird it's like it's a strange sense of entitlement to try to take someone else's life it's a strange sense of entitlement because it's wrong and most people would say, wow, I got caught and now the game is over. 